Hi everyone, I'm Kenny Davis, lead pastor with South Community Church. Thank you for checking out our Spirit Minute today. It's a great story in Acts 16, if you never heard it. Remember Paul and Silas were actually ministering for the Lord. They uh, spreading the good news, bringing hope to people in the, in the, uh, in the community. And what happens, the, the authority at the time were not happy about it. And so what do they do? They actually put Paul and Silas, persecute them, beat them, strike them, whip them, and put them in the, uh, the most inner parts of the prison, okay? Can you imagine this happening to you? You spreading this hope of the good news of what God is about, and someone comes and says, listen, we are not happy with this. We're putting you in the inner parts of our prison, and we'll see what we'll do with you from there. Well, story goes in Acts 16, 25, these guys had just been beaten. It's midnight, so you imagine this long day they've just had, and Paul and Silas are in the inner parts, sitting in their prison cell, and you know what it says they were doing? It says, Paul and Silas at midnight were praying and singing hymns to God and praises. And you know what? It says that the prisoners around them were listening to them. The actual word listening is translated. I know it sounds crazy every time I tell you this, but I need for you to know this. The term listening is actually, um, it's, uh, it, it means that they were listening with pleasure. That's what it means. That they weren't just, oh, gosh, well, wish they'd stop that in the midst of their trouble and in the darkest part of the prison, in solitary confinement, they could hear them singing praises and praying to God. Wow, what a testimony bringing light in the midst of darkness. So when you're going through troubles, when you're going through struggle, do you choose to rejoice? Do you choose to, to uh, sing praises or hymns? Or does the words of depression, the words of negativity take over you and that's all people around you hear? Or are they listening with pleasure to your joy even though you're going through struggles? You remember, let me tell you the good part of this story because every one of you are wanting to know. The next verse, 1626, says that a violent earthquake comes and the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, breaks open their jail cells, takes the shackles off of their feet, and rescues them from their struggle. Know that that's going to happen. We'll see you tomorrow.